Namaste everyone. Now when the YouTube demonetization bomb fell on us, I was like, crap, I'm so dead. I didn't know what to do next. Now this news affected particularly smaller channels and channels that were new. And unfortunately for me, my channel happened to be both small as well as new. I was like totally, totally dead. So after several days of thinking and trying not to think, I decided to go shopping. Shopping for YouTube equipment that could help me make better YouTube videos. And this is what I bought. First up is a camera cage slash camera rig slash monitor cage called what you may. Now I'm going to be making a detailed video on this one uh, a little later. Now we move on to the next product and the product that we'll be talking in detail in this video. It's this video lighting that I bought for 12,600 rupees. That's roughly $192. Now keep watching this video because uh, it could also be a kind of video lighting tutorial for you or a how to start a YouTube channel video for you. Now this video lighting set has so many items to it. So let's have a look at it one item at a time. Now first up, we have this uh, light stand. Now it's made of metal, so it's pretty durable. However, the connecting parts and these knobs are made of plastics that does not look so durable. So if you squeeze in too hard, it might just break might want to be careful with this. This thing can grow or this thing can extend seven feet tall. Now I am five feet ten and a half and this is how tall these guys can go. So it gives you a perspective of how much height you can cover with these lights. They can easily cover Michael Jordan even when he is slam dunking. So you get four of these light stands. Next up we have this mini ball head. This mini ball head is completely made of metal. Even these wheels, this tightening wheels you can see out here are completely metal, solid. They are not gonna break. And you get four of these mini ball heads. Now this mini ball head can be used in two ways. It has a cold shoe clamp out here. So if you have a cold shoe adapter like this, you could simply put it inside like this Tighten it up and simply screw it on top of your uh, camera rig or take the cap off your light stand and put this uh, mini ball head on top of this. Now you can put your LED light on top of this. Now speaking of LED lights, that's what we're gonna speak about next. Now here is the LED light. Now the seller mentions having 240 individual LEDs in this, that's not true. It actually has 288 individual LED lights in this entire panel. So that's good news for us. So this LED comes with one plain white diffuser and one tungsten diffuser. There you go. So you take off the white diffuser. Put the tungsten diffuser on and there you go, you have a yellow light for yourself. So you get four white diffusers, four yellow diffusers, four LED panels. Now if you look at the back of the LED, you will see there's a cavity wherein you can, oops, there's a cavity wherein you can put this battery. Put this battery in. The, the button in the middle is your power on. Press it for a couple of seconds and there you go, power on. Press it for a few more seconds and power off. The up and down buttons are to increase or decrease the brightness of the light and the left and right arrows are for you to increase or decrease the color temperature of the light. Now you see this Point out here, this is where your AC adapter goes in. At that point in time, you don't need this battery, it will run directly on power. Now, here, this one is a remote sensor. This is the infrared remote sensor. I was supposed to be getting four remote controls, 
to control these lights which the seller forgot to send me. I've reached out to the seller, uh, the four remotes are on its way. Now up next we have this AC adapter. Now in case you don't want to be running your LED light on batteries, you are at home or you are in your office, you can simply plug into a direct uh, power source and plug this behind your LED panel and there you go, you don't even need a battery. Now, since I'm in India and these are American plugs, it's not going to work. So, I asked them to send me an adapter for this. So, they sent me these adapters. These are two pin, Indian pins, let's call it. They are actually the European pins. Uh, we use it in India also. So, we simply put the American pins onto this adapter and it becomes Indian pins. So, they were kind enough to send me four of these. Otherwise, I would have had to pay additionally and bought it on my own. And you get four of these AC adapters. Now, next up, I have these batteries. Now, this is a Sony NPF 550 570 battery. A fully charged uh, battery can last about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour at the most. Now, the best part about these batteries are like they're pretty versatile. You can even use these batteries to most of the cameras out there. Now you get four of these batteries and, and this could be your mobile uh, lighting system. Next up, we have the battery charger. You get two of these. What you do is you simply slide these, the battery into the bracket here, flip open the plug and in goes this plug, the battery starts charging. Again, since I'm in India, I'm gonna have to use this adapter. Now there are many uh, NPF uh, batteries you can find out there, but the most popular ones are this, NPF uh, 550, then we have NPF 770, and then NPF 970. You can charge all of these batteries with the charger we get. And finally, you get this bag. You can put your entire set inside this bag and you could go backpacking. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this LED light. Now one major advantage is the build quality of every individual items. It is superb. However, the build quality of the light stands are okay-ish. It's made of metal but the connecting points are made of very cheap looking plastics. So it's a balance. The rest of the items are all good. The light stand, okay. The delivery, they sent it to me through FedEx and I received it in less than seven days. Yeah, that's right. It didn't even take one week for them to deliver it to me, especially given the fact that it was coming from China. On the hindsight, you better be ready for some import duty. Ah, that hurts. Now it comes with a travel bag so you can, even if you're not traveling, you can always you know, tuck all these items into the travel bag and keep it safely. The negative side though is that they are not very clear about the warranty of this product. Uh, they do mention that you know within uh, a certain number of days after you've received this product you can, uh, and, and if you come across any defects or any problems you can always send it back to them and they will replace it or they will give you a full refund but that's going to take a really really long time because it has it has to go back to that foreign country that it came from and then it has to you know come to me again so you have to go through the whole process all over again now the biggest advantage that i found with this line is the price at rupees 12600 rupees or 192 dollars this was by far the best deal I could find out there. Oh, by the way, the company that uh, manufactures this light and that sent it to me is Spash. S-P-A-S-H, Spash. Now there are obviously better names out there like Neva, Aperture, Studio Effects, but they are at least three times more expensive than this one. Oh wow, it's raining outside now. Can you hear that? Okay, let me just open the door. You might just hear it.
Yeah, can you hear that? It's raining. Okay, back to the video. Now, I've taken the lowest available price for each individual item in this set and have come up with a rough mathematics. Now, this is how it goes. The LED light that has uh, between 160 to 200 LED bulbs costs around $30 in an average. So that's 30 into 4 LED lights, $120. Then we have the uh, battery chargers that can charge two batteries at a time plus two uh, NPF 550 batteries at a 2600 milliamp hour capacity. So that's $30. We need two of those. So that's $60 altogether. Then we have the AC adapters. The AC adapters cost $10. So that's $40. And we have the mini ball heads at $2.5. So that's $10. And then we have the light stand at $20 a piece. So that's $80 for four light stands. So we are looking at a total of $310. And that does not even include the bag or the remote controls. This particular set came with everything. Plus, mind you, very importantly, the LED set that we have has 288 individual LED bulbs in it at only 12,609 rupees or $192. So that's half the price we're getting here. That I see is the biggest advantage of this video lighting set. Now, your light is one of the factors that affects the color of an object. The others being the setting of your camera, the lens, and the uh, setting of your screen. All right, now let's talk about the color accuracy of these lights. Now, these lights come with a color temperature range of 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin. Now these LEDs come with a CRI of 93. CRI is the color rendering index. Higher the CRI, more accurate the color representation of your scene. Let's say you have an LED light with a CRI of 100 and you are using these lights at its brightest, that is 5600 Kelvin, then you make your indoor scenes look like it has been shot outdoors. And at 3200 Kelvin, it will make your indoor scene look like it has been shot in the evening with lots of lights around and maybe a fire beside you. Uh, for the purpose of demonstrating uh, how these lights look, actually I am not using any softbox. So the light in front of me is actually being cranked up to its fullest, that is 5600 Kelvin. And this is the effect you get. Maybe I have a lot of uh, you know, bright, shiny patches all over my face, but this is how it gets. This is raw footage. So under this particular LED, this is how a yellow looks and a green looks. Okay, I'll put that against black. So this is yellow, this is green. Uh, that's a little too shiny. Let me take it up. This green, this is yellow with a CRI of 93. So the links are in the description. Please like and share the video. Smash that subscription button if you haven't already. This is Abhishek and you're watching Second Impression. And I'm gonna see you in the next one.